BJ Mafia was popping. Jags fans, we have had a very busy offseason from the time the Jaguars have released players, brought new players in, signed a bunch of free agents, and I was thoroughly pleased with the job that Trent Baalke did. If you guys want to go ahead and see my full Jaguars free agency recap, I will go ahead and link to that video up above for you guys to see. But one glaring issue that the Jaguars still have on their roster, kind of heading into the draft, is still desperately needing a wide receiver one for this offense and for your franchise quarterback. Quarterback, and that is exactly where I'm going to be headed with this video. I want to talk about T Higgins coming to Duval County and why the Jaguars are a match made in heaven for T Higgins. And that's what we're going to talk about here today. But before I go ahead and dive deep into all of that, Jags fans, if you guys appreciate the work and the content that I do here on YouTube, make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe bell to stay tuned for more Jaguars content that I do here on YouTube. And make sure that you guys also go ahead and follow me on my socials, especially on Twitter. I'm very active and I'm on there every single day. The link tree will be in the description down below so that you guys can go ahead and check that out. But Jags fans, let's kind of talk about how we're going to get to T Higgins and where these rumors are really starting now. Before I talk about T Higgins, let's talk about Brandon IU, wide receiver for the San Francisco 49ers. I know you guys have been seeing the reports and I got myself a little bit too hyped up about the potential and the possibility of Brandon Ayuk potentially coming here to Jacksonville. Now, reports came out on March 14th that Brandon Ayuk and the Jaguars had mutual interest in one another, reported by 1010XL. And then, I believe it was on March 18th, which is today as I'm recording this video, Mia O'Brien of 1010XL, and a big shout out to her because she does a wonderful job with her job. She reported that the 49ers wanted the Jaguars 17th overall pick, Zay Jones, and that was just honestly all too much for the Jaguars to give up to not only compensate that trade, they were also going to have to extend Brandon Ayuk's contract. So that means that the Jaguars were not only giving up their first round pick and a very good quality wide receiver in Zay Jones, they're also having it, like I said, give Brandon Ayuk the bag, even though he deserves it because he is a phenomenal wide receiver and explosive player. That is just too much for the Jaguars to give up right now, and I don't blame them for denying that trade talk as of right now. Maybe their mind's changing a little bit, but here is where I pivot to a match made in heaven, a guy named T. Higgins, a guy who already has a level of familiarity, chemistry, and continuity with a guy like Trevor Lawrence from their days at Clemson, obviously Travis Etienne as well too. They won the national championship back in 2018, and T. Higgins, since coming into the league back in 2020 as a second round pick, has been nothing short of spectacular. Now look, I do think that there's some things that have been working against him since his time in the NFL, but we'll address that later on. Let's continue to talk about T. Higgins and what he's done since coming into the league. T. Higgins in 58 career games, 250 receptions on 391 targets. That's a 65.7% completion percentage. Those are great numbers right there. 3,684 yards, 24 touchdowns, just 21 drops over the course of four NFL seasons. He has a 111.2 NFL passer rating when targeted and He's a six foot four, 220 pound wide receiver who could be a legitimate threat on the outside across from Gabe Davis and you can keep Christian Kirk in the slot with Evan Ingram going over the middle and you've still got Travis Etienne in the backfield. What a hell of an offense that would be and just to even put that out there onto the field on paper, even with Press Taylor as the play caller, that offense scares the living hell out of me. And honestly, who wouldn't want to come play with Trevor Lawrence? Because T. Higgins has already publicly stated on the record, if he was not playing for Joe Burrow, he would want to play for Trevor Lawrence. And like I said, who wouldn't want to play with Trevor Lawrence? Who wouldn't want to play with the second best quarterback in the AFC right behind Patrick Mahomes? And of course, the undisputed best quarterback in the AFC South, Trevor Lawrence. Now, here's where it gets tricky when we talk about trade scenarios and the possibility of a T. Higgins coming to Jacksonville, even though I would do it in a heartbeat. Now, a couple of weeks ago, the Cincinnati Bengals did franchise tag T. Higgins, which is going to be a $21.816 million cap hit this season. And obviously, whoever they're going to trade him to, they obviously are going to extend him as they should. And let me talk about why it should be Jacksonville. If I am Jacksonville, if I am Trent Baalke, I am sending the 48th pick and even Zay Jones if I wanted to, to Cincinnati. I'm going to acquire T. Higgins and we are going to extend his contract. And yes, I hear it already. You're going to have a very expensive wide receiver room. Yes, you're going to be paying T. Higgins big time money, not just this season, but moving forward. Christian Kirk still has two more years left on his contract. You just paid Gabe Davis. 
Obviously, you're going to get rid of Zay Jones' contract. You paid Evan Ingram. And obviously, you're going to have to pay Trevor Lawrence and Travis Etienne soon. Those guys are going to be owed big money. You're going to have a very, very expensive wide receiver slash skill position room. And I'm here to tell you right now, a guy who is a disgruntled asset, when teams know he does not want to be there, they're not going to make their best offer. You're not going to have to give up anything more than 48 and probably Zay Jones, or maybe even just 48 if you're lucky enough to acquire T. Higgins. It's the same situation we've been seeing with James Harden year in and year out. When he wants to get out of Houston and publicly says, I want out, why would Philadelphia or any other organization willing to trade for him make their best offer when they know he's a disgruntled asset? Teams know that Cincinnati needs to move up off of T. Higgins. He doesn't want to be there anymore. Jacksonville's not going to make their best offer. They can lowball him. They're still going to have to give up some fair compensation, but it might not be what it would have been had T. Higgins not publicly stated on record that he wanted to be traded. And I want to kind of get back to the point that T. Higgins has not really had a completely fair opportunity to flourish and to shine as a wide receiver one because he has the talent and the capabilities to be a legitimate starting wide receiver one in the NFL. And I truly believe he possesses those talents and abilities. Now, let's kind of take a look at his time in the NFL, forgetting just the stats, right? 2020, his rookie season, Joe Burrow goes down with injury, right? His rookie season's cut short. So of course, he's not gonna be as productive as he should have been, even though he still put together a very good rookie season, I believe just under a thousand yards. 2021 and in 2022, when Cincinnati was making deep postseason runs and they even made it to the Super Bowl, T. Higgins did put together great seasons, over a thousand yards, was very productive. But 2021, Jamar Chase came in, he got drafted, and he overshadowed T. Higgins, and rightfully so, because Jamar Chase is a very talented wide receiver, has a phenomenal skill set, and is obviously one of the best in the game. But T. Higgins thinks that he can be a wide receiver number one, and I know he can, and he's obviously going to continue to live in the shadows of a guy like Jamar Chase, who Cincinnati absolutely will pay. And then you go to this season, 2023. T. Higgins does not play all that well. He only appear, appears in 12 games, but of course, Joe Burrow's banged up again. Cincinnati's kind of falling apart. They have Jake Browning throwing him the football as well, too. Even though he sliced up the Jaguars and beat us in primetime football 34-31, that game crushed my soul. Back to the point of T. Higgins. This is a guy who is now going to be entering his prime. His best football is ahead of him, and you put him with a quarterback like Trevor Lawrence, and I'm not negating Joe Burrow, but I'm saying he wants to play with Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence wants to play with T. Higgins. I don't know that, but I would just speculate. Trevor Lawrence would love and embrace T. Higgins coming here to Jacksonville. This is just a match made in heaven. It makes too much sense. Don't overthink it. Don't sit here and panic and worry about the cap situation two, three years down the road. Just get the guy. If you are serious about making a deep Super Bowl run, which I know Trent Baalke is, go ahead and go get a wide receiver number one. Now, the only thing I would say to that is if the Jaguars do not want to go for T. Higgins and they want to get younger and cheaper in the wide receiver room, which is still a great idea, you guys know I've been saying it and I'm going to continue to say it. Brian Thomas Jr. out of LSU should be the guy that we should bring in here to Jacksonville if the Jaguars don't want to go out there on the trade market and acquire T. Higgins. If they want to get younger, they want to get cheaper, they want an athletic, big-bodied wide receiver to build the future with, there's your answer. It's Brian Thomas Jr. You don't need to overthink it anymore. But if Trent in the organization wants to go corner, they want to go edge, they want to go D tackle, offensive line, whatever it is that they want to do at 17 overall, you trade 48 and you trade Zay Jones or whatever it is you need to give up, and you go get T. Higgins and you extend him. This is not that hard. This is not rocket science. It's not calculus. Just make the damn move. And I guarantee you, T. Higgins would be ecstatic to be here in Jacksonville. Just make the damn move. Now, Jags fans, I understand that there's a lot of speculation with this. Of course, there's nothing really substantial outside of the fact that T. Higgins has publicly stated he wants to play for Trevor Lawrence and publicly stated that he wants to be out of Cincinnati and he wants to be playing for another organization. Outside of that, Everything else is just speculation. I truly believe that this is a match made in heaven for T. Higgins and the Jaguars. Jags fans, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Now that the whole Brandon Ayuk situation is basically a long shot, do you think we should target T. Higgins and extend him? Or do you think we should go wide receiver at 17? Because I highly doubt Trent Baalke is going to take a wide receiver in the first round. That is the same chances that I have of winning the lottery, okay? Or having a girlfriend. Slim to none. Let's just call it like that. 
Trent Baalke's probably not drafting a receiver in the first round. We should go for T. Higgins. Jags fans, please let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe bell to stay tuned for more Jaguars content that I do here on YouTube. And make sure that you guys also go ahead and follow me on my socials, especially on Twitter. I'm very active and I'm on there every single day. The link tree will be in the description down below so that you guys can go ahead and check that out. But Jags fans, thanks again for sticking around throughout the whole video. Brett James, a.k.a. BJ, I'm out, y'all. And like always, let's go Jags.